Hi guys, so one of the hardest things with Voron versus Ratrig over there was Ratrig comes with a uh, Rat OS, which is basically a customized version of a Clipper. Now, with Ratrig, everything's set, um, even the extruder, blah, 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 all the settings are there. So you don't really have to mess with that. So it's all pretty much um, uncomment the existing uh, configs. To your configuration and it works right out of the box whereas Clipper on Voron they give you this uh, very generic printer config right and um, basically what I did is I was using some generic ones uh, especially the print start code it, was, it just didn't work out of the box so what I did is um, I copy the settings that I was using for my Ender 6, which gives you custom G code. So I would actually pr um, like to do this instead. So I would um, do the final temp using all that stuff here. So right now what it's, my printer is doing on main gel is uh, I would actually just, uh, program this. So the extruder is at 150 and then heater bed at 85 because I'm printing PET-G. If you're doing other types of uh, filaments, you may have to change. And basically, I want to make sure the extruder doesn't ooze while I'm homing and doing quad gantry. But I want the heater bed to be at full 85. That's what I noticed with Rat Ray. They already do that. So it's right now doing quad gantry. You don't have to, the good thing with uh, Vorons, you don't have to do a heat map. You can, but um, just because the way this was designed is that you have a flat bed and the quad gantry basically levels to the bed. There's not too much that can go wrong because um, because the bed is flat, it's not moving, it's there. So that's one good thing. But one thing that's missing from Voron is that uh, easy configuration like rat rig. So I'm using pretty much all just code that I got from my other printers and this actually working really well um, so right now we did the quad gantry and the 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 tool is at the front so right now it's heating up the extruder and I can go ahead and take out any filaments because it's in the front All right and then when the extruder heats up all the way it's it's actually I don't have to do that it's gonna actually do a uh, prime nozzle basically um, get rid of that front nozzle and then go go and print which is my like ender so my problem with the Vorons is that okay you got the hardware running you got the AC mains running and you got the printer running and then you're like oh printer.config there are some existing configs that I try to make it work uh, but I had some trouble making it work so now it's going to do a prime nozzle and watch it get rid of that extra stuff. And uh, what I'm watching for is a perfect Z offset, which I think I have. I think it's, it still might be a little high, so I might go back here and adjust it real quick. Bring it down another point one.